Hi, this is Sahana. In our today's session, we are going to understand what is Entity Framework Core. This is one of the must know technologies for a .NET developer. In technical term, Entity Framework Core is an object relational mapper. Again, what is object relational mapper? You can think of object relational mapper as a software that sits between your object oriented application and relational database and it will help you to talk to relational database using object oriented language. Don't worry, you will understand it better when we start working with Entity Framework Core. Important features of Entity Framework Core are it is lightweight. That means it will not hang your application and it is open source. You can view the source code of Entity Framework Core and also it is cross platform. That means it is compatible with different operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. One more important feature of Entity Framework Core is it can work with any kind of .NET application. It could be web application, mobile or web API or even you can use it with console application. Another biggest advantage of Entity Framework Core is it supports many database engines like SQL Server, SQLite, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL to name a few. I'll brief you the steps that we need to take to use Entity Framework Core in our application. The first step is we should create application of our choice like it could be console application, web API or web application or mobile. Then we should have already installed database in our system. Like if you are going to use SQL Server, it should be there in your system. Then, then you should install database provider for that database. For each database, there will be different database provider. For SQL Server, database provider will be different. For SQL Lite, database provider will be different. Um, for any database you choose, database provider will be different and you should install that database provider. Then we should in our application, we should create necessary model, then database context classes to talk to the database. Then, then we write link your queries to interact with database. This is just a brief overview of the steps that we take. In our next sessions, we are going to see all of them in detail. If you don't understand all of these steps, then, then you need not worry. You will surely understand it later. There are two approaches to work with Entity Framework Code. First approach is code first approach. Second approach is database first approach. In code first approach, we create the domain classes. Later, we create the database from our code. But in database first approach, we design the database first. Later, we create domain classes. In our next session, we are going to see how to set up Entity Framework Core. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.